Now it's time for the Caribou Show Community Calendar. The Church of Christ and the Boy Scouts will be holding a Christmas celebration at the Community Center December 22nd. Carols will be sung and refreshments will be served. The public is welcome. The ACLU will be holding a Not If We Can Help It meeting at the Community Center December 22nd also. Name calling, agenda forcing, and lawsuits galore will be served. The public or common sense is not welcome. The mayor's annual live nativity scene will be held at Miller's Barn located 15 miles south of Montrose. Local children and business leaders will be presenting this year's display and the public is welcome free of charge. The first showing will be Friday the 18th at 7 p.m. The ACLU's first barn burning will be held at Miller's Barn located 15 miles south of Montrose. Local children and business leaders will be sorry they ever even thought of celebrating Christmas. Remember the ACLU's song this time of year is Let Us Sue, Let Us Sue, Let Us Sue. The La Rouge for President Committee will be having its Get Out the Vote for 2004 on Tuesday the 21st at 8 p.m. The meeting will be in the back seat of Jim's car. This year's topic is let's build super trains and colonies on the moon just like Abe Lincoln told us to. If your group or organization has an announcement, well, that's too bad, because now it's time for the Caribou Show Christmas Special. to my brother Dad's house and we give each other Christmas presents because it's Christmas. That's what you're supposed to do, you know. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm going to do this year and every year I do that. Last year, give him a dead snake. <laughs> anyway, this year, this is going to be a surprise. Here we go! Come with me to brother Dad's house. You know, it sure is every year. Yep, and it's time to give each other the Christmas present. So you go well, first. Well, Luke, I appreciate you giving me that vagina last year. What? So I got you a funnel. It's a dirty funnel. It's I tested it out. Well, Luke, this is a stupid present. It's not stupid. This is this no. What? What is well, What's that? wrong with you? Yes, it's not a present. You're not trying to do this. This is no way to be a Christmas in you. You're not trying to do Okay, you can go now. Okay, go. Okay, uh, hello. Uh, I'm uh, Farmer Art Carlson here from uh, west of Salem, South Dakota. And as you may re uh, recall, dear, uh, I went to South Dakota Lottery, and uh, now I got uh, all this uh, money left over because I quit making that movie, you know. So I thought this year for the Christmas, I'd have uh, videographer uh, Guy Sievert there from Salem kind of follow me around and uh, tape my Christmas activities for this year. Uh, say hello there, Guy. Hello. You see, I don't spend Christmas with my family like the other farmers around here do, because the reason is, is I just can't stand my brother Bart's kids. 
They're just really ornery little, just really mean, rotten so-and-sos. So, instead what I do is I treat myself to a big trip to the big city once a year by going to the big town of Sioux Falls. <laughs> Actually, I go twice a year when they have Farmer Appreciation Day at the fair, and then I go again at the Christmas time. So, Guy, let's uh, take that video camera of yours there and kind of follow me around as we go into Sioux Falls. Okay, you can stop now. Stop. Okay, so here I am getting into my 2001 Ford Escape that I bought with my lottery winnings. As you recall, you know, I went to South Dakota Lottery and I got quite a bit of cash off of that. I was going to put my seatbelt on, but I remembered that, you know, on the farm we don't use the seatbelt because, you know, there really isn't anything to run into. So, I got the arm out the window and here I'm ready to go to town now. Here I am driving down the streets of Sioux Falls, and you know the people just drive so god dang fast. You know, I'm a farmer and I, I got really all day to get where I'm going, so I like to drive slow and look at stuff there because we don't really get to see a lot of things on the farm. Okay, so the first place I stopped to was the implement dealer because, you know, I can't really decide between the International and the John Deere, so that's why I took a look there. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the big drugstore there in town because they got uh, a lot of stuff that they don't have at the Hallis Hardware in Salem. And uh, another thing I like about uh, the big city is they got plenty of places to park there. You don't have to park on Main Street like you do in Salem. Boy, here I'm taking a look at the drugstore. Oh my goodness, look at the look at the merchandising there, the, how big that is. That's a whole lot bigger than the Hallis Hardware in Salem, I tell you. They even got uh, one hour pictures there. You can take a picture in an hour. And uh, I was going to take the video camera in there, but they wouldn't let me. So uh, we also didn't have any stock footage. So Gary had his son make up these pictures of me uh, doing my trade in there in the drugstore. Okay, so I did my trade in there and I'm coming back out. Uh, here I'm getting in my vehicle. Uh, as you notice, I left the door open because, you know, on the farm, the time it takes to open and shut the door can really cut down on whether or not those cattle get through that hole in the fence, you know. <laughs> so here I'm going driving again. Okay, so now I take a look, another look to the implement dealer because I do need a new windrower too. Although I can't decide between the self-propelled and the, and the, and the pull behind. And uh, Sioux Falls, they say, has uh, a few good places to eat, though, so I thought I'd stop at one of their finer restaurants in town. So I stopped over there to the Cone Zone, where they got the, the hamburger sandwich, the shoestring potatoes, and the hot coffee. I tell you what, though, nothing goes with a good uh, hamburger sandwich like a hot cup of coffee. Now, as you notice there, I'm cutting my hamburger sandwich in half, because uh, that gives me a starting point where when it's all the way around, I really don't know where to start. Boy, I tell you what, that is a good hamburger sandwich. And washing it down with a nice hot cup of coffee, I tell you what, it don't get any better than that. Boy, that's good enough. Okay, so I take another look there to the implement dealer, because I, I guess I kind of like those International 2 Plus 2 tractors. Those are really nice tractors. They got, actually they call it four-wheel drive. And here I believe it going back to Salem after my big trip to Sioux Falls. That was sure a lot of fun. Okay, so there you have my big uh, semi-annual trip to Sioux Falls there for the Christmas season. Uh, I had a really good time, of course, and I, I got myself a present when I went to the store. Uh, I got this thing here. Um, I'm not really sure what it does, but uh, when I plugged it in and turned it on, it uh, kind of vibrated and got hot. There, so I'm not really sure what the use of that is for, but I'm sure I'll be able to do something with it, I suppose. Okay, well, there, uh, there you have it. So uh, you can uh, quit taping now, guy. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I gotta, okay, all right, here, stop. <laughs>
Hello, and welcome to the show, Ask Professor Dan. This is the show where viewers write in to ask science questions of Professor Dan. I'm Troy Nelson. Remind us again, Professor Dan, why are you qualified to answer these science questions? Well, Troy, my pipe makes me look really sciencey. <laughs> Well, let's get, let's get, here we go. Well, let's get to tonight's letter. And it comes from Dan Eisenhower. And he wants to know, if we knock out Luke Roo, maybe his guardian angel will be Santa Claus, and then Luke can deliver his Christmas list. Wait a minute, Dan Eisenhower. Hey, this is from you. You can't send in your own letters. Yes, I can, because I'm a scientist. <laughs> Well, that makes sense. Let's take Luke out to the woods again so he can hit his head on that tree. No, it's too cold out there for that. Let's just have Luke come in here and we can beat him into unconsciousness. Uh, unconscious, uh, un Luke, come here. Hi, Luke. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, Luke! Holy cow! This is Santa Claus! Santa Claus is my guardian angel! Step a day! Hey, Santa! How's the present giving business? Well, Luke, since I got this guardian angel gig, I had to give up the Christmas present giving business. Oh, no! What about what's going to happen to all them elves that is making the presents for you? They all got work at the gravy factory. Supper day! That gives me a good idea, Santa Claus. Uh, that would be a good idea for me, because it will send me back to my body in that stupid comedy skit, and it will get you back into the Christmas giving present stuff business. Well, Luke, what, what would that idea be? Well, let me whisper to you, because that's what they do in these their TV shows, like, like I can just tell you, because the real only one's here, but I whisper. So it'll be secretive to the viewer. Okay. Oh boy, I wonder what Santa brought me this year. You gravy! <laughs> He's coming oh, around. Oh, Very good. Oh Man. boy. Very. So Luke was uh was Santo your guardian angel? As a matter of fact he was. Wow. And did you give him my list? Yes I did. Oh good. Now all I have to do is sit back and wait for my gifts. Why well, you don't have to wait, cause I got your present from the Santa Claus right here. Oh boy. What'd you get, Professor Dan? Gravy? What the hell is this? Merry Christmas, everybody! For some reason, I'm hungry for a hot roast beef sandwich. Did you say sandwich or sandwich? Because hmm. if it's a sandwich, it'd be like a dirty wick. I would sure wouldn't want hot beef from that. No, that's what that's for sure. Well, here I am, Mayor Munson, getting ready to write my annual letter to Santa Claus. You know, it's been a very good year for me, except when I had that angioplasty and now I can't eat my Neapolitan ice cream anymore. <laughs> Although I can still eat a few M&M &M minis. Let's see, what do I want from Santa this year? Dear Santa. Uh, here we are in, uh, behind the scenes with Mayor Munson uh, as we look upon my uh, new glorious event center. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have uh, brought the Staples uh, Corporation into moving from the old Shields building on 41st Street here to this shiny new Mayor Munson Event Center at uh, 6th and 8th Streets here in Sioux Falls. Uh, as you can see, my naysayers were totally wrong. Uh, this two-lane road is plenty wide uh, for people to come uh, to and from the Sticks and Ario Speedwagon concerts. Uh, as you can see, we also uh, fit uh, 30,000 people in here, which 
is uh, about the right size uh, for people to watch the Sky Force uh, play their uh, continual basketball league games. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, we've really uh, revitalized the uh, downtown area. Uh, over here is the, uh, the Goodwill uh, store that we have uh, uh, moved next door so our, our poorer uh, residents of Sioux Falls can come in and, and see a game and, and buy some quality used merchandise as well. Uh, so as you can see, uh, all you naysayers who said this would never work, you are totally wrong here. As we look at the glorious Staples Center, uh, you can also, don't forget, uh, office supplies are uh, readily available inside the door here, along with pictures of me and a uh, uh, testament to my greatness. So, that pretty much decides it. This year, I'm going to ask Santa for a new tie. Hello, I'm Santa Rat, the rat with whiskers in his mouth. Bah. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, Santa Rat on the Christmas special. Oh, how appropriate that is. Well, the truth is this. I hate Christmas. <laughs> Just because I'm named Santa Rat don't mean I have anything to do with that Christmas. I mean, my guard there is named Jesus, or Jesus, or something, and he still can't walk on water. <laughs> so now that you know that me, the Santa Rat, hates Christmas, you probably want to know what I'm going to do for my angry Christmas special. Well, what else can I do but try to make others hate Christmas as much as I do? <laughs> Well, all I gotta do now is bury these here Christmas presents and I'll have reached my quota for this year of ruining Christmases for the people. Santa Ram, I want to talk to you. Oh my gosh, is it really you? Yes it is. And you need to spread joy and love all year round and not just at Christmas. Be a good Santa Ram and be kind to others and use the whiskers in your mouth for good and not for evil. Wow, I'll do it. I'll do anything for you, Jesus, son of God. Jesus? Why, no. It's Dan Haggerty, TV's Grizzly Adams. Grizzly Adams? <laughs> Aren't you going to say anything? Shh. Don't shush me. You asked me to be on your Christmas special. Shh. Shh. Why is it called a grown-up Christmas special? This is ridiculous, Mr. Helper. Shh. I really think... Shh. Don't you... Now don't you shush me anymore. And why does it have to be so damn quiet on your grown-up Christmas special? Okay, it's time to tell you. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Christmas, everybody! Oh. Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, what? It smells like burning tires! What the hell did you eat? Oh. Thanks for watching! Good night! Merry Christmas! That's it? Yeah, that's it. Boy, this ought to be easy to edit. Oh. Boy. That's it. What?
You know, hey, you know why, you know why I call this the Mr. Helper Growing Up Christmas Special? I'm, I'm sure you're gonna tell me, why'd you call it the Mr. Helper Growing Up Christmas Special? Now that I'm growing up, I can do stuff. I can fart whenever I want to. I can eat candy whenever I want to. I can go to bed whenever I want to. Nobody's telling me what to do anymore, because I'm a grown up. Who told you before? Others. <laughs> so how long you been a grown up? About 10. About 10. <laughs>